Oh, baby, baby, baby. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the game sketch today and only today. We are here to talk about Sonic. That's right. We have a we have a lot of actually some Sonic. Well, not too much, but like we have some notable Sonic news to talk about and just sort of final predictions of things. Because um, for those of you that didn't know, or I'm sure a lot of you know, Sonic is going to be at the game awards. It's confirmed. Sonic Twitter, you know, did their little cheeky too, where they were like, Hey, hey Jeff Keely, can we come to the game awards? Like, you know, Jeff Kelly, Corey Ting, sure, hop in. So they know what they're doing. You know, they're, they're inciting all that stuff. But yeah, Sonic is going to be at the game. It's official. It's not a rumor. It's not a It's not a hope that I have. It's not like what I talked about a few days ago. And I was like, mm, I, I have a feeling they're going to be there. It is official that they're going to be there. So I, thought, I figured, you know what? Let's sit down. And also, by the way, thank you. For all the love on the last video, you guys really seem to enjoy the sort of like me just laid back talking about whatever. And that's what we're going to do with this video. So I'm going to take this sip. And we're going to get right in this bitch. So, yeah, Sonic is there. I'm so excited. Now, I know a lot of people, right, are like, like oh, my man, man, Fidel. What if it's the movie? It's not the movie, all right? If anything, the, the Sonic movie Twitter just tweeted uh, like, hey, keep your notifs on. And like they put that clip of Dr. Eggman being like... I'll be home back uh, by Christmas, you know what I mean? It's like, and I, I think, I really do think they're sort of doing their own marketing because a lot of times when Jeff Keighley, like, has announcements for Game Awards, he cross-teases them. So it'll be like, the Sonic movie Twitter would be like, oh, hey, Jeff Keighley, do you mind if we come over or something like that? Like, they would do some cheeky back and forth like that. But I, it seems to me like Sonic movie is doing its own thing. They also set up their own Discord Apparently, that <laughs> Discord is a shit show. I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but yeah, so Sonic Movie to open up a Discord. And apparently, it's like hell on earth what's going on there. I had to dip ASAP because apparently there was just some fuck shit going on there. So, uh, get out of there if you're in there. Right? Don't, don't, don't fall prey to whatever's going on there. But yeah, so either way, man, where do I even begin? Because this is such a big deal because I really do think, first of all, and I know some people are like, oh, maybe it's another... I think this is Sonic from Tier Sonic 2022 or whatever. You know, I, I think that's what we're going to get here. And to me, that's just so exciting because, like, we we have not gotten an ounce of info on this game. Like, the only thing we know about this game is just that it's going to be a different gameplay style. And that, like, you know, the team wants to push themselves. The usual blah, blah, blah PR stuff. Because, like, lo like looking back at the trailer, right? Like, if we, if we go look at this real quick, right? Like, this trailer, again, tells us nothing except for that sidestep move he does in there. He's got, you know, his, little, his, his longer shoes sort of adventure style. And then he's got this, like, big... Super dash, and then we we sort of get the moment where what where, where he like does the the circle zip move, which maybe again is a mechanic in the game or something. We don't even have a title or anything. Obviously, a few other things have popped up since then. The website for Sonic Frontiers is not up, but it exists. So, like there's a website frontiers.sonicthedgehog.com so like there's stuff rolling for this game it was pretty clear even before game awards like and sonic like tweeted their stuff that it seemed like something sonic was gonna be there and man like where do i even begin i feel like i just want to like fi i want to do like final predictions of what i what i think we're gonna see from this what i want to see from this uh before we do that real quick sonic origins the, you know the collection of the 2d sonic games I don't know it's gonna be there. I hope it is. I hope it's like just a big Sonic segment where they just have like a bunch of Sonic stuff. But I don't know if Sonic Origins is gonna be there. I hope it is because like that game is just a collection of Sonic 1, 2, 3, and CD. Like again, I know they said they want to do stuff like widescreen and add some features, but like it cannot possibly that far be far away when most of those have been ported multiple times. But I'm excited that let's let's talk about Frontiers. Because I, I want to talk about what what I think this is gonna be, what I think we're gonna see. I think I'm thinking this is one of two things. This is either going to be a full CG trailer, you know, like we get like the full thing, we get maybe the Crush 40 theme um, or something like that, and then we get a better understanding of what's going on in that world and stuff. Or I think it's going to be like a gameplay teaser in a sense of like we're going to see in-engine footage. We'll see maybe like how it looks when Sonic's running in game. He does like a loop. He does like one of the mechanics in the game. Then he stands on a cliffside and you see the world and then we see the title of the game. I think that's sort of where my, my gut reaction is going with that. 
the 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 best puzzle outcome is it's a double it's the thing where they do the crazy cg with the gameplay and all that stuff and it's like it's an all-out chill i would love that that will make me lose my mind but something tells me that this is gonna be more of like a hey here's a glimpse of the, at the gameplay of the game and obviously i'm saying the cliffside seeing the world because i think much like all the rumors and much like things even I would have assumed based on what they're talking about. I think this is going to be an open world Sonic game. I think they're finally going to do it. This is the, the norm of the industry nowadays. And of and I know a lot of platformers don't go for open world. Like, you know, they'll have the open areas, you know, like your Odysseys and your Banjo and stuff. But open world is different. It doesn't usually apply to platformers. But obviously the character that can pull it off because of just the nature of how quickly they can go from one place to another would be Sonic. And and I've talked about this before whenever we've made videos about this. But man, for Sonic Frontiers, I the the unique thing I want about this game, and, and I said this before because it's something we don't have in Sonic games, is I just want a, an open world that's fun to run around and do cool shit in. In a way, what I mean by that is like, I wanna be able to randomly open up Sonic Frontiers when I beat the game or whatever, and just sort of like, run through a field, you know? Like, sort of re relive that Sonic CD intro that we all love so much and we show so much on Twitter, because like, that to me, is like is what i want from it i want that feeling of you know running through a forest you know you go through some loops you do the tricks in the air you do your quick time events to do some cool moves you fight some enemies and stuff like that you do some cool parkour like i really wonder how the movement's gonna be in this game what it's gonna be like and also like a lot of the rumors of like because there's been a lot of fake leaks and rumors with sonic sonic is sort of like smash where like just like you look at leaks and like nine maybe 99 percent of them are fake and maybe one percent is because a lot of them the, the most common things that i've seen between a lot of these leaks is that um it's an open world and the second main thing is that like the chaos emerald missions in the game are these cyberspace levels which are boost formula so like the boost formula style would still be in the game but it would be like in these sort of bonus stage style but the main game is in this regular open world either way man like i just i can't wait to see it man i want to see what this world is like i want to see what the mechanic is like i want to i want to see are they gonna go as far as to give us a date or is it still gonna end with 2022 obviously i think the team wants to make sure they pull out a fantastic game i think like i said we've talked about this before with sonic we're like when the team makes a couple lows right there's always a point where there's a high where they're just like no, no. like not now we're in trouble with this let's pull it up and i hope that's the case with this thing and it's like i think because we could dude if this game does well i think we could be in a really good place with sign because then we'll have this game doing well we'll have the movie franchise doing well we'll have potentially sonic uh prime which is that netflix show that'll be hopefully awesome you know and then we'll have just everything you know the merge the collabs and stuff and it'll feel like sonic is, is at a very upward trajectory again. So I really hope for that shit. And uh, yeah, man, like I just, again, we don't have much to go on because like I said, we don't know too much about this game, but, and I don't, I don't want to take too much of your time with this, but I just hope, I really, really in my, in my soul, so hope that when we see this, it's just, it's happy. Like, it's a, it's a moment where we're looking at it. And obviously, there's going to be the people that completely, well, just animation, well, whatever. There's going to be those people. Mentally set yourself up for that. Um, but I just hope we see it. And I'm like, I have hope. And I'm like, this looks awesome. I just want to run through this area. I want to see what's happening. Hopefully, we see a maybe a cool story segment. You know, and, and hopefully, I think they've learned that we need Crush 40. Okay, I think with, with Team Sonic Racing, they brought them back. And I think they brought them back with the Sonic 70. I think they understand that Crush 40 is a pivotal part of the Sonic games. And I think they're going to be here. You know, it's like, I just, I don't think you bring back Crush 40 just for Symphony and like a remix of a song. I think you need them for the next game. You need their energy. You need, we need a new Crush 40 banger, bro. Okay, we've done Live and Learn. We've done a bunch of other things, bro. We've got Open Your Arm. We've got all, we've got all this shit. Give me, I don't know, like, what's a new life lesson they could tell me? Uh, don't just steal someone's IP address. All right, I want Crash Warrior to sing a song. Be like, don't steal my IP address. And they just go crazy. All right, fuck it. Just go dummy. Either way, I'm genuinely super excited for this game. I want to see what's up there, save And Game Awards, thank you, Jeff Keighley, for pulling up. Now, on the off chance that this isn't Sonic Frontiers, and maybe they shock us um, 
because Tyson has actually uh, tweeted, hold on to your butts, you know, and like as a gif. Um, and obviously, for those of you that don't know, Tyson Hess is notable for a lot of the animations for uh, Sonic Mania uh, and also redesigning the Sonic movie Sonic. So that he could be just talking about the Sonic movie or he is involved in this game somehow, whether it's like designing some enemies or maybe he's got like maybe they're working on a 2D game. Maybe we're going to see a 2D, a new 2D game here and he's part of it or something again. This is just speculation in case we don't see Sonic Rangers 2022. Maybe there is a new 2D game because, again, we know there's most likely going to be a 2D game, whether it's here or eventually. But th then we're going to spiral out of control for predictions. And stuff. But again, my prediction, like I said, for this, the award show is it's going to be a gameplay teaser. We're going to see in engine what it looks like to see Sonic run across the field a little bit. We'll see him maybe fight some enemies, maybe some cheeky dialogue, and then he'll stand on the cliff side and we'll see the title Sonic Frontiers. And I, and I I'm pretty sure I'm pretty much locking the fact that it's going to be called Sonic Frontiers just because we had the website and all that stuff. I think that's what's going to be. Cool title. I'm excited, man. So, let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know if you think I'm crazy. Am I overshooting? You think they're going to show maybe just Sonic Origins? What, what do you think if they're going to show Sonic Frontiers? What it's going to look like? What it's going to be? Let me know. I'm excited. Remember, for those of you that don't keep up with streams or Twitter or whatever, Make sure I'm going to be live reacting to the Game Awards. All right, Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. We are going to be live, live reacting to the Game Awards, all the nominations, all the announcements. It's, it's going to be a big show, apparently. So I'm super excited. Make sure to get everybody up in this bitch. Make sure to follow here for more. Subscribe, all that stuff. Make sure, again, follow me, twitch.tv slash And I will see you all soon. I love you.